Pisces, and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is your weekly reading from November 3rd to November 10th. These decks have been pre-shuffled with Pisces energy in mind, and this space has been cleared. Before we jump in together, let's get the busy work out of the way. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell below if you haven't already, so you will know when Pisces content posts. Pisces content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and you would like a personal reading, please check out the description box below for that information. If you're really feeling my vibe and you would like to support me on Patreon, you will find that description bo in the description box below as well. If, and you do get a certain number of free personal monthly readings depending upon your level of subscription. Now, astrology speaking, we just had on October 25th a partial solar eclipse in, with the, in Scorpio with the new moon also in Scorpio. So you're probably feeling the effects of that. Maybe things got shooken up. Maybe stuff got knocked down. Maybe it's looking like some stuff will get shooken up and knocked down. The next eclipse is coming on November 8th, so right here is part of your reading towards the tail end, but it'll be in there. The thing to remember here is it might feel very destructive, but if we have gotten out of alignment somehow with what the universe, God, Allah, Zeus, whatever you choose to call creator, if you've gotten out of alignment with what is needed of you. This is the universe adjusting that alignment to bring you back into space with where you're supposed to be. So even if it feels really destructive right now, ultimately it can lead to very happy places. Don't be afraid of the change. So that's what I'm saying. Embrace the change. It's gonna happen whether we want it or not, so we might as well embrace it. So let's jump in. Messages for Pisces. November 3rd through November 10th. Messages for Pisces, 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 okay then. November 3rd to November 10th. Messages for Pisces, November 3rd. Through November 10th messages for Pisces November 3rd through November 10th okay then now I am gonna clarify all these cards I will hold them up to the camera so you can make sure you see them all as good as you possibly can but with before we clarify let's go over the basics past present near future someone to you you to the someone balance outcome summary so in your recent past with your Six of Cups and your King of Swords and your Eight of Wands, somebody from your past that you've been interacting with before, now this could be any air sign, which is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but also is Capricorn energy. Could just be an official, could also just be you. If you're a boss, acting like a boss, feel like a boss. You had some head over heart kind of decision that you needed to make about something to do with your past and there was communication about that. If you're not just interacting with a Capricorn or an air sign. Maybe they communicated to you. Someone in this capacity could be communicating to you that from an existing relationship, something, whether it needed to be altered or whatever. Whatever this is, somebody is now feeling left out in the cold. Okay, so... In your near future, this is Aries energy. It could be interacting with an Aries. Or you could just need to take a risk. And maybe that risk is actually a rest. If you've been so busy doing, right, that you're not taking any time to rest or you're not taking any time to think, then you could that could be the problem. You might need to slow down. Someone to you is in a place of waiting looking for work to be putting in or put already putting work in. So seven of pentacles. You to the someone, seven of wands. You to the someone, you're feeling defensive. Well, these wands are pointed at people. You know, some people are pointing their fingers at you. You, are, you could potentially be pointing your finger right back. Balance is found in a fresh start. 
two are at a stalemate there. So a fresh start needs to happen with the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, that's a good thing. So outcome here is the Eight of Cups. That's walking away from what, whatever doesn't serve you, especially if this is at a stalemate. Ace of Wands, that's a new beginning. The Moon, that's your own en energy right there. And the Five of Cups, which is also still about walking away. Whatever you're walking away from, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you. You're not interested in what was before. You want what is new with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. These are yes cards. You want something, so something has to change. You want something you never had, you gotta do things you never did before. What is this Six of Cups in Pisces Past? Four Wands, what is the Six of Cups in Pisces Past? That's too many cards, but we'll take a look at them and we'll take this one, Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Virgo energy right here, an existing relationship, seven of wands feeling defensive, which is you in this position. So it's your relationship and there was a need to hermit because there was stress. All right, hang on a second. What is this six of cups about in Pisces past? Sagittarius energy here with the temperance. So some past relationship, four of wands, look for 1111 on the clock. Uh, some past relationship with two people here, two, you know, these two is one, these two are one, there's two people there. Some past relationship where you weren't feeling left out in the cold, where you were feeling like you were included, where they were feeling like they were included because things were in balance. So in the past, this relationship was in balance. What is this king of swords in Pisces past? Six of wands, what is this? Wow. You guys are again very communicative. We're not going <laughs> to. I will look at these, but we're gonna, I'm going to shuffle them back in. This is Capricorn energy. It's also a matter of toxicity. There's the seven of uh, cups there. So seven, seven, seven might be significant. You should look that up. This is the King of Wands. That could be any fire sign. It's also Cancer energy. Could just be boss feeling. That's the death card. So. This person, whoever they are, possibly was a Capricorn, you know, is looking at their, their options. So they're bringing something to an end. Or you could have been interacting with a Scorpio. King of Wands, like I said, could be any fire sign. So maybe a fire sign was asking you to bring something to an end with the Capricorn. But that's just a small side story for someone. Okay. What is this King of Swords about in Pisces past? Capricorn, Aquarius energy. What is this King of Swords? Ten of Swords. What is this King of Swords in Pisces past? Knight of Pentacles. It's Virgo energy specifically. Also Leo energy, but could be any Earth sign. It's also just slow moving energy. So something here where there was some kind of uh, betrayal of some kind, some kind of dysfunction, you know, all those swords in the back. But it's a completion, it's coming to an end because the tens are completions and it's very slow moving energy towards a victory, okay? So a victory is at hand or was at hand, it's just moving slowly. But a victory for what, whatever victory means for this person doesn't mean it's victory for you. I mean, you two might not be in alignment with each other with your, their waiting and your, you know, feeling defensive. What is this Eight of Wands about in Pisces past? King of Wands, what is this Eight of Wands about in Pisces past? The Sun, that's Leo energy. What is this Eight of Wands about in Pisces past? We'll take them both. Four of Cups, Five of Swords. Okay, so some communication from a fire sign about happiness, about what they're not interested in about you know what part of this conflict they're not they're not interested in having if you actually look at this here there's three people here two of them are walking away right this person is standing there they've won but winning at all costs is not worth it really what good is winning at all costs if you're alone so but there's something with this conflict that they're just they don't want to be involved in they're not they're not willing to engage 
could be a Cancer as well. Just remember that's also Cancer energy. What is this Five of Pentacles in Pisces present? Page of Swords, Two of Wands. What is this Five of Pentacles in Pisces present? Knight of Cups. Now, Knight of Cups could be any water sign, but it is also Aquarius. But it's definitely your energy. This is a card associated with Pisces. So you're the one feeling left out in the cold here, more than likely. I mean, you could have left somebody feeling out in the cold, but you're at a crossroads. You're going to get some information about this feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you're going to find out what you need to do. What is this Fool card in Pisces Near Future? Five of Wands. What is this Fool card in Pisces Near Future? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. So it's going to be with whoever this person is. What is this Fool card? Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, you're wanting a fresh start. Things are complicated. There's fighting. You're being communicated with by someone, whoever this person is, because they're here and here, so I don't, you know, I don't buy that those aren't related. <laughs> you're being communicated with about a conflict and about the work needed to build in. Four of Swords. What is this Four of Swords in Pisces near future? The moon, but in reverse. That is your own energy there. What is this four of swords in Pisces near future? Page of wands, two of pentacles. You're feeling indecisive. You're not necessarily acting like yourself. You're not, you're not, you're just laying it down. Whatever it is, you're laying it down. You want this rest. You're not necessarily using your intuition like you should be. But there's a communication about this juggling that's not about what's not working. You're going to communicate it or it's going to be communicated to you, this need for a rest. What is the Seven of Pentacles in Pisces Future? The Magician? That's Gemini Virgo energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Lover, that's Gemini energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. So this is somebody you know. You're in a relationship with them. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. They're manifesting this relationship, though. It's something they want. They want something with you. Whether this is with business or this is uh, pleasure, it doesn't matter. Personal relationships could be family. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be, though. It's a general reading. Take it as it resonates. They want something with you. They're manifesting a connection. They want this Ten of Pentacles. They're in a community you already know. This person's in your life with the Six of Cups in the past and then this here in the future. What is the Seven of Wands in Pisces future? Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Wands in Pisces future? I'll take them both. Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. The Seven of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Wands. Because they're not kidding. You're really feeling defensive. Uh, you need to set this down. You're holding on to something you shouldn't hold on to with all this defensiveness. It's not going to work. It won't solve anything. It won't help anything. It's a burden, really. You're giving yourself an additional burden that you need to set down if you want this relationship with whoever that is. If you want this. You want this partnership. You want that relationship. Because it seems like they want you. You want them. Whoever they are. Two people, two people. Could be a water sign with that, just so you know. But it, it, this defensiveness isn't helping anything. It's not, a, it's not a ch accomplishing any kind of goal. What is this Ace of Pentacles in Pisces uh, balance? Ace of Wands, which you have here in your summary. What is this Ace of Pentacles in Pisces balance? The Hangman. What is this Ace of Wands in Pisces balance wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is your energy the hangman is also your energy so it is your fresh start you want this fresh start but it's a matter of divine timing you're going to need to be patient so there's a lot of pisces energy right here this is your it is your actions to take it is your future to build no one is going to build it for you if you want something different you must do something you've never done before what is this Eight of Cups about in Pisces future? Two of Swords, it's Libra energy. What is this 
eight of wands about? The devil, that's Capricorn energy. What is this? Eight of, I'm sorry, it's, I've been saying eight of wands. It's not eight of wands. So I'm going to reshuffle those in. It's eight of cups. They're supposed to come out. They'll come back out. Trust me. They're good at that. What is this eight of cups about in Pisces future? The world, that's Capricorn energy. Six of pentacles. What is this eight of cups about in Pisces future? Ace of pentacles. So there's the balance. This is your fresh start. This is bringing something to a completion. The person could be at a distance from you. Capricorn Aquarius energy. Take that as it resonates. There's a need to be generous. All right? You need to walk away from whatever's not serving you. You need to have a completion of some kind, possibly with a Capricorn, possibly with an Aquarius, or just bring something to an end. And there's a need for generosity in order to receive. If you want to receive, you must give, right? What is this Ace of Wands about in Pisces? Summary, King of Swords. That can be any air sign, but also Capricorn energy. Here they are in your past, and here they are in your future. What is this Ace of Wands about in Pisces outcome? Knight of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands about in Pisces outcome? Ooh, man, there's a lot of people cards. So... Knight of Wands is Scorpio Sagittarius energy. King of Cups is Libra, Scorpio, along with every water sign. And then, you know, the King of Swords. So it is Capricorn and every air sign. So you got a lot of people here. You're going to need to decide who you want the fresh start with. This, this air sign, this water sign, this fire sign. What are you doing here? You know... Where, what are you trying to achieve? I mean, this could be you, because you're a water sign, Pisces, and maybe you got a choice between two, a, a Capricorn or an air sign and uh, a fire sign. You might feel a little bit of in and out energy. Maybe that's what's happening there. You're not quite in, you're not quite out, they're not quite in, they're not quite out, because the Knight of Wands can be a player, especially with the Ace of Wands right there. It's definitely a fun evening. What is the moon card in Pisces uh, future? <laughs> The devil. What is this Capricorn energy? What is this moon card about? Three of pentacles. What is this moon card about? The eight of cups, which is what your outcome was there. So this is you. And your need to walk away. Maybe you need to end things with a Capricorn. Maybe you don't. Could be just ending some kind of toxicity in a relationship. That's what you're walking away from. Something's toxic. What is this Five of Cups in Pisces summary? Eight of Wands. What is this Five of Cups in Pisces summary? King of Pentacles. Now that's heavy Aries and Taurus, but it could be any Earth sign. What is this? Forgot what card I was summarizing. What is this Five of Cups? Three of Wands. I was so focused on the, the energy of this King of Pentacles. Uh, so you're going to get a communication about, you know, looking towards the future. Somebody's going to tell you what needs to happen. Somebody's going to be vocal. You just, are you interested or are you not interested in what they have to say? You're going to have to make that choice. No one can make it for you. What is this advice for Pisces, November 3rd? To November 10th. The lovers, Gemini energy. What is adv the advice for Pisces November 10th, 3rd through the 7th, 10th? Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I am getting flustered here just with the energy of this. What is the advice for Pisces November 3rd through the 10th? The Empress. That's also Taurus energy, by the way. But it could be any mother. It could be anybody that you see, in male or female, there's no gender in tarot, as somebody who's attractive, has it all together. I mean, but this is the nope energy here. So there's a partnership that perhaps you're no longer interested in. Maybe uh, they're no longer interested in. I mean, you do have a lot of energy of two people. You're, you're going to need to make a choice. It's the uh, lover's card used to also be called the choice. There's a choice need, that needs to be made here. The Four of Cups, if you take a look at the Five of Cups. 
this person is dumping out that fourth cup. It's being handed to them from someone. They see it, and then eventually when they get here, they're, they're pouring it out. They don't want it. They said, no, thank you. So you have a choice you have to make. And you're going to need to really think on it. So take the time. If you have a yes or no question in mind, this is the time to think on it because this is the deck that answers yes or no questions. Messages for Pisces. Communicate clearly. Messages for Pisces. Abundance. Messages for Pisces. That is way too many. We'll take a little quick look at it. There's something better. Opportunity. Not the right time. You guys' energy really wants to talk today. Messages for Pisces. Wait. Yeah, with that Four of Swords energy in your near future, you're going to need to be patient with yourself while you communicate clearly what it is that you want. Because first you've got to decide what you want. And then you have to stick to it. You can't be vacillating with that Knight of Wands energy in and out, juggling with the Two of Pentacles. I'm just going to kind of wait and see. No, you have to make a choice. Make a choice, decide what you want, stick to it. Understand it's not going to be easy. It's not going to come fast. There is going to be work. Nothing comes from nothing, okay? It doesn't just pop out of the clear blue sky. That's not how manifestation works with that magician energy running around. It doesn't, you have to focus. If you don't put the work in, you will not get the results. So be patient. Put the work in. Communicate clearly with yourself, with the universe, with other people. What you want. What abundance are you looking for? Because this is a yes card. This is telling you to be patient. So it's not a yes or no. It's a need to be patient, and this is a need to communicate clearly. Advice for Pisces? Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. That keeps coming up for people. It's much ado about nothing is what it means. It means the energy is flat. This is, like I told you, this, this is stagnant. Seven of pentacles, seven of wands. You guys are at a stalemate. You want this fresh start. You want a new beginning. You can't keep up with what you've been doing. You have to do something different. <laughs> Advice for Pisces? What do you need to release? Waning moon. That's really what all these eclipses are about. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So you got to do something different. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini, right? With the communicate clearly. And the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. So right now the energy is not quite there because things are not being handled in the way that they need to be handled. Make your adjustments. Take your time. Think about it. What do you need to release? So you can make these adjustments. So you can communicate clearly and get this abundance. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. I guess we'll have that one since it wants to talk. Oh, you get two. That happened to somebody else. Another, uh, another sign had two as well. A child can see. Do you remember when you were a child? We came to you riding dragonflies and dancing on dewdrops. It was no playtime, for imagination is truth. Never forget that we are your lifelong friends. You're not alone in the world. Even when you feel like you're alone in the world, you're not really alone in the world. None of us are really alone in the world. Fairy offerings. We adore offerings. A little cream, a sprinkle of cake, time caring for nature. As you do this, we will draw closer and closer until we can whisper our guidance as our lives joyfully interweave. You are in the universe, and the universe is in you. That's part of why we're never alone. We can't be alone, because we're part of something bigger. We're all part of something bigger. I hope this helps you, Pisces. As you get through this week, just remember, you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars, and you have a right to be here. <laughs>